Are you taking HRT and a weight loss jab like a Zempic or Manjaro? Well, here's something many women haven't been told. Your womb might not be getting the protection it needs, and that matters. I'm Dr. Sophie GP, and I want to explain to you what's going on and why you might want to discuss this with your doctor. Okay, so let's think, why are so many women on both HRT and these weight loss injections? Well, basically, if you're a woman in your 40s or your kind of 50s, there's a good chance your feed is full of two things, HRT and GLP-1 weight loss medications, the active ingredient in Azempic and Wigovi and others. And it makes sense. The average woman gains around 12 pounds in the eight years after menopause. That isn't just frustrating, I mean it is frustrating, but it's also tied to higher risks of heart disease, type 2 diabetes and other conditions. HRT doesn't just help with hot flushes, poor sleep and low mood, it may also help preserve muscle, reduce belly fat and improve insulin sensitivity. Now GLP-1 medications like Azempic can help dampen your appetite, reduce those food cravings and support really good meaningful weight loss. I mean actually I think they're pretty amazing for the right people. So the combination of the HRT and the GLP-1 meds can be super powerful, but, and here's the issue, these GLP-1 medications slow down digestion, hooray, that's how they help make you feel full. But it also means that some of these pills might not be absorbing properly, including certain types of HRT. Now this is important because if the progestogen part of your HRT doesn't absorb well, it may not be doing its crucial job protecting the womb lining from thickening. That can increase your risk of what we call endometrial hyperplasia, where the thick thickness of the womb gets too thick and that can even re- lead to an increased risk of endometrial cancer or womb cancer. So it's really important. So who does this affect? This mostly applies to women taking oral progestogens. So if you're taking a tablet form of it like Eutrogestan. Now, we don't have loads of long-term data yet, um, but the expert guidance is clear. They're suggesting that if you can, you should switch to a combined HRT patch or a Mirena coil. These provide consistent progestogen without relying on digestion. If you really do want to stay on the tablets, um, then you may need to increase the dose temporarily, especially when you uh, start the GLP-1 medication or after any dose increase. And as always, do report any unscheduled bleeding. So what should you do next? So if you are on both HRT and a weight loss injection, it doesn't mean you need to stop, not at all. But it does mean it's just worth checking if your womb's getting the protection it needs, especially if you are taking Eutrogestan or another oral option. So talk to your healthcare provider. You might just need a simple switch or dose adjustment. So if this video has helped you, send it to a friend. I've got another video all about HRT and menopause and lots of videos about these weight loss medications. So do take a look. I am Dr. Sophie GP, here to help you understand your health and feel more in control. See you next time.